Namaste. Thanks for tuning in and welcome to another Tesla video. Today I'm going to be covering top 20 tips and tricks on Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y. If you have had your Tesla for a while now, you probably know about some of these tricks or most of these tricks, but stay around. I might have some new tricks that you haven't heard of before because you know, after owning my Model 3 for almost two years now, I'm still learning about new things every single day about this car because it is such an amazing car. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shiva Sapkoda. I'm an engineer in Colorado, USA, originally from Nepal. I make Tesla videos covering, you know, anywhere from software updates to new technology um, that is bringing Tesla, latest news in Tesla, as well as doing a detailed demo of many Tesla features that are out there. So if you want to see more of that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, Welcome back. I really appreciate your support. This is going to be the first video of my series of Tesla's top tips and tricks. It will be too long of a video to include everything in one single video because there is just so many tips and tricks. And so I decided to break it in into pieces. So this is going to be the first video and then there is going to be many more videos followed by this video uh, covering the same topic. So if you have any other tips and tricks that you are aware of that you have figured it out, please let me know in the comment section below if you think I should cover it in my next video. With that, let's get it started. Did you know that you can share address directly from your phone to Tesla? To do so, just pull up the address like normal, go to share right here, go find the Tesla app, and then when you hit the Tesla app, it says sending, and then boom, over here, it pops up and it will navigate for you. This also works if you have a saved address somewhere. For example, here in my note or in your email, all you have to do is just click on it and then it will take you to the address where you go over here, share, go to Tesla app, and it will route you to that address. Did you know that if your door is all locked, you don't have to necessarily press here. There's another way to unlock all of your doors. To do that, you simply press on this park button again. So while the car is in park, just press on this button again. Watch what happens to this padlock over here. It unlocked. It does not relock all of your doors. So you do have to press here, but a shortcut is to just press on this park button again. And then it unlocked. I've been asked this a lot. How do you apply parking brake on this Tesla Model 3? You know, normally on normal cars, we're used to just pushing on a parking brake or pulling on a lever on here in the central console. With Tesla, Tesla automatically applies the parking brake, so you don't have to. But if you're a visual person and you want to see that the parking brakes are applied, all you have to do is just press on this parking button and hold onto it for a couple seconds. So, and then as you saw that the parking brake lit up, that means the parking brakes are applied. Now, another reason why you uh, should know how to uh, turn on the parking brake is I read through Tesla's owner's manual and it says that in case of an emergency, only in case of an emergency, that your normal brakes are not functioning properly, then you can use this technique to completely bring the car to a stop. But again, only in case of an emergency. I'm gonna stop at a red light and I press my on my brakes that means there is no autopilot logo over here which means you cannot turn on the autopilot while you are stopped that is actually not true what you need to do is press on the brake a little harder and wait till the hold sign appears which is right here and if you let go of the brake the autopilot turns sign comes back and then you can turn on the autopilot well it's still being still and then when the light turns on your car starts moving. This is a navigation technique. What you need to, what you can do is you can save home or work and they, you just have to press here to set those addresses. But what you can do is quickly go to home. You are somewhere, you just need to navigate to home or if you're home and you need to go to work, what you need to do is just swipe right and then it navigates to home or work depending on where you are at. So that is very, you, all you have to do is swipe right and then the navigation comes or you can also swipe down 
and then it will take you to home. So it is navigating you to home. To delete an address from your recent, what you need to do is just swipe right and then it goes away. Swipe right, it goes away. To favorite an address, you just go to the address, you, you navigate to an address, you click on that address, and then right here, there is a little star. You just press on that, and then you can name whatever you want. I'm just gonna, this is a vegan place, so I'm just gonna name it vegan. Add to favorite. If I cancel it, if I go back to navigation, and if I press on favorites here, this address is saved. So that is how you save your favorite. This one is a climate control tip. We know that if you press here, there is that power button where you can turn off the climate control. But did you know that while well, the climate control is on, you can just press and hold this climate control button and it will turn it off. Especially for new owners, you might have seen either this single uh, temperature or you might have seen the dual temperature over here for passenger and the driver. To just to go between the single and the dual, if you press over here, there is no setting where you can change that. What you need to do is, if you slide a little bit on this temperature, there is this uh, sink that pops up, the blue sink button that pops up. If you press on that, the dual climate control now activates where you can independently control this settings over here. To bring the, the single climate control back, all you have to do is the same thing as you did. Just press here and then only the single climate control pops up over here. Did you know that if you have this climate control menu open while you are driving, it will go away on its own if you don't do anything. Just keep driving, give it a couple more seconds and it will just go away. There. Now this one is if you're watching YouTube or Netflix and you want to turn on, you want to change the climate control as well as brightness and volume, what you need to do, if you're full screen, what you need to do is just press kind of up here a little bit and then this settings pop up where there is the brightness, there is the temp control and then all you have to do is slide to change the temperature. So now I'm going from 60 to 70 degrees and then same with volume, you just have to slide it to increase and decrease the volume and same with brightness. You can decrease the brightness or increase the brightness. Another way to do this is through your phone's app. So right here, the, the climate control, just open climate control and then you can turn off the climate control. Did you know that you can change gears in Tesla under five miles per hour without ever pressing on the brakes or bringing the car to a complete stop? How that is done is first you start the car and you put it in drive so the car is going but it's under five miles per hour you can just put reverse without pressing on the brake and it will start reversing and you can do drive again and it will drive and it will go back to reverse when you turn the car into reverse without ever putting the brake or bringing the car into a complete stop if you're a new owner you might be wondering where is the 12 volt outlet in tesla you just have to open the central console armrest, remove this, and you will find the socket right here. So here is your outlet. It's kind of hidden, but you do have one. This is a supercharging tip. So if you're gonna be visiting a supercharger while you are on a road trip, or if you're just going to charge at a supercharger, always navigate to the supercharger. What I meant by that is, if you put the supercharger in navigation, Tesla knows that you're visiting that supercharger. So what Tesla does is some sometime before you arrive the supercharger, it starts preconditioning the battery so that the battery is at an optimal temperature for fast charging. If you don't do that, if you don't put, put the supercharger into navigation, you just simply arrive to the supercharger, you plug it in. Now Tesla is slowly warming up your battery and then it, it is it's charging slowly until it reaches that optimal temp temperature when it starts charging faster. So if you want fast charging at a supercharger, always put it in navigation so that Tesla starts warming up your battery before you even get to the supercharger. How do you put your Tesla into neutral? Rather than pulling the stock all the way to reverse, just, just nudge it lightly and it goes into neutral. So it's in drive just go up slightly and it's in neutral.
There are certain situations when your chart port might get stuck and you have to manually open it. To do so, you just have to pull on this tab in your trunk facing the chart port side. So there is this little pulling tab where you can hold on to that tab and then pull on it, the chart port will open. This tip is to quickly bring up the last use application. What I meant by that is if you click here, you know, like if you want to see your energy graph, how you are driving, you cancel it out. And if you want to quickly bring that up next time without having to press, double press, press here and then press here, all you have to do is just swipe up. And then there it is. Now let's try that again with the backup camera. So your backup camera was the last thing you pulled up. You can just swipe up and then that will pull up. To quickly add 5 miles per hour to your speed in autopilot or the traffic over cruise control, you just slide this wheel up very quickly, so like there, and it added 5 miles per hour. And you can do so by going 5 miles per hour under as well. So it is 45, scroll up, it's 50, scroll down, it is 45. In traffic over cruise control, going speed limit of 5, that is the max speed limit, now if I speed up to let's say 10 and I tap into it, whatever speed limit that I speed up and tap on the cluster here, it does that speed limit as your max now. So I am at 14, I tap and then becomes 14 as your max. Now it will do 14 for you. And this is true for both autopilot and traffic over cruise control. To get rid of the autopilot nagging, you can hold on to the steering wheel. Also what you can do is just turn this wheel slightly and make the speed a little bit one or one difference. You can go up or down and then the nagging will go away because autopilot thinks at that point it knows that you are awake and you are paying attention to the road. Did you know that Tesla has over 100 voice commands that are functional? Yet a lot of people don't know about it because Tesla does not advertise it. It's all trial and error. Let's go through a few of those voice commands. To activate voice command, you just press on this right wheel and this button pops up so let's try this search google for weather and it did it pulled up the weather right here in the browser activate windshield wipers is that two out of four Increase wiper speed. The wiper speed was sped up by one. Turn off windshield wipers. Wipers off. Turn off climate control. AC was off. Turn on climate control. This is enabled. Increase AC fan speed by four. Fan speed is increased by four. Turn on satellite mode. Turn on the satellite mode. Show me the traffic. Traffic visualization turn on. I'm going to be making an entire new video on all the voice commands that I have found to be working with my Model 3. So now would be a really good time to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. So that will do it for today's video. I hope you found this video helpful. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you did find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, turn on the notification. I really, really, really appreciate your support to this channel. As I said in my intro, this is the first video of my series of Tesla's top tips and tricks. So more videos on the way. You can also follow me on Instagram using this handle. Thank you again. I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.